That is a job for presented by Jiffy Lube and this week with a huge showdown against the Eagles. That is a job for Dolphins running back Raheem Mostert. The Dolphins coming to the first big tough stretch of their schedule facing not only the Eagles but the Chiefs in two of the next three weeks. So they will need Mostert to do what he's been doing so far this season and that is putting up record numbers. The 31 year old running back entered the Dolphins game last week against the Panthers with eight touchdowns so far this season tied with 49ers Christian McCaffrey for the most that now belongs solely to Mostert who put another three in that game against the Panthers only one other player since the 70 merger has more touchdowns in his first six games that was Sean Alexander who scored 12 times in the first six versus Mostert's now 11 times taking a look at this year's stats the most touchdowns Mostert has ever scored in a season so far was 10 so he's already eclipsed that number and at 31 years old he is on pace to become the oldest player to lead the NFL in touchdowns since 1983 Here's more from our Melanie Collins with most dirt after the game. Raheem, congratulations on the win. You guys started in a 14 nothing hole today, but came back to score 42 and win this one. What did you see in the response from your team that you liked most? Uh, resilience. You know, these guys right here are just, man, they, and when, it, when we're down, they, they don't take anything for granted. We know what we got to do, especially on offense. You know, defense did their thing. A couple three and outs, and then, you know, they got, got the lead early on. But all in all, you know, this, this offense, we're rolling, man. And, and once we're rolling, it's hard to stop us, as you can tell. Sure is. Three touchdowns for you today. That's it's now 11 on the season, not only a career high for you, but an NFL high. What were you seeing out there today, and what's been the key for you in this incredible start? I mean, first and foremost, of course, I always got to thank the old linemen, you know, um, and and even the skill players. You know, we got Alec blocking on the end, and, and so do we, we have J uh, Julian Hill. So, I mean, it's a, a cumulative of guys that just going out here and doing their jobs on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's paying off for us, you know. And then... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just finding holes at the end of the day and just trying to make a play. And you guys have a big test up next week in the Philadelphia Eagles. What do you still need to see from this team before you face them next week? Yeah, of course, you know, 24-48 hour rule. You know, I mentioned that last time. It's still in effect right now. Um, but we're going we're gonna to watch this tape and then we're going to move forward with, with Philly and, you know, we're going to get their best shot. I know it's going to be a, a night game. And it's going to be exciting. So we just got to be prepared, especially with that defense, because that defense is, is fairly good. And then their offense, you know, is, is unbelievable. It hurts. So um, they got plenty of playmakers on that side of the ball. So we just got to control what we control and do our thing. In the meantime, enjoy this win. Thank you oh, so yeah. much. Thank you. Surf's up. Let's go. <laughs> All smiles as he should be getting ready for week seven in the NFL. The NFL on CBS. Some of the games you can look forward to. Browns and Colts. Browns coming off that huge win, of course, against the 49ers. Colts still dealing with no Anthony Richardson, potentially out for the rest of the season. You can stream all those games on Paramount Plus or just watch them on CBS.